G'day, Doug back again with a quick tutorial for Prism Live Studio. And one thing I was asked in a recent live stream, it was probably at least a month ago now, I was on Dean Nimmin's live stream and was asked about how you do widgets and overlays, you know, like the ones from Streamlabs. How do you do those in Prism Live Studio? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over right now and check it out. So come on with me. All right, the first thing you wanna do is jump on your phone and open up Prism Live Studio. So for me, I dive in. Here I am on Prism Live Studio. Okay, we're in the app now. The first thing you wanna do is access the area where you can add the images, videos, and other overlays into Prism Live Studio. So that's just like a, a swipe left. And you can see here that I've got some things. I've got a, a GIF of Travis MCP. I've got a picture of a camera, a picture of some product there. And I've also got what's called an event list widget. So we're gonna look at how I added one of those from Streamlabs. First thing you wanna do is notice at the top, you've got media, music, test, and web. So we're gonna click on web. And basically, we're going to need to paste in a URL. So this is where we're going to jump on over to your Streamlabs or whatever site you're using to generate your alerts. So let's do an alert box. So I'm going to go and click on alert box. You should be seeing this on my computer right now. And I have an alert box set up at the moment. So we're going to go with an alert box that does a subscriber. So here we go. First thing I want to do is up in this section, I want to uh, click here to show the widget URL. This is the URL I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do is highlight that, or I could just go copy. So let's click copy. The widget's copied. It's now in my Apple ecosystem. So I should be able to just simply paste it now into the app. So here we go. Copy URL, that's the one we want. And we're going to call that because this is alert widget, alert box widget, it even titles it for me. Don't have to do anything else. Now, if optionally, I can lock the layout. It says you can prevent issues that occur when web sources by using the lock function. I'm not going to turn that on right now, but I'm going to hit save. And that just adds it to my studio area here. Now, the alert widget is what we want to add. So what I'm going to do is click on that. And you can see it's now added. I'm just going to put it at the top here above my head, just deliberately keeping myself lower in the frame from where I normally would go. You can see it's actually still there. It just sort of disappears. Now, if I activate it from uh, Streamlabs, do a little test. So let's click that. And you can see it says, Doug Houston just subscribed. Now you have to uh, obviously fiddle with the uh, sizing, which we can do by dragging out the box. Obviously these are uh, uh, widgets, it can be different sizes depending on how it goes. So let's just uh, tap off that and do one more test and drop that in. And you can see the widget instantly works in Prism Live Studio, simple as that. We've just uh, pasted the URL from Streamlabs into the web option in Prism and then it's there and ready to go. So anytime we can actually uh, remove that from uh, being available on screen by just Xing out. And if we ever want to get back to it, it's always going to be in your studio unless you delete it from there. So I can um, go back and add my event list widget, which is one I really like to use. That, that's an always on option widget. So you can see my, it's my uh, list of subscribers, people who donate to different things like that uh, pops up and I can just keep that on the screen the whole time. Anytime I want to move it, I can move it around or I could just delete it. So it's very customizable, very flexible. Anytime you're using Prism Live Studio, you can have your alerts, you can have donations coming in, uh, super chats if you're on YouTube, different things like that. And the alerts will just pop up in Prism on the screen if you place the widget where you want it. So as simple as that to do a, a widget an alert or overlay from whether it's Streamlabs, uh, Stream Elements, or wherever you get your widgets from in Prism Live Studio. Big shout out to those that were asking that question in Dean Immons' live stream. Apologies that I don't remember your name. 
But there you go. I promised and I have delivered. Thank you again. And this is Doug and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation. 